Howdy friends, thanks for dropping by again today to Griff's Adventures. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Zuka backpack cart. I have the large one. Did buy it used, had it now for probably, I don't know, probably six months maybe. And uh, <laughs> when I first started out in disc golf, I thought it was a joke. So <laughs> couldn't believe anybody would use a cart to drag some disc around to play disc golf. So just hang out and I'm gonna go over this and uh, step by step. I'm also doing a little upgrading to it today, did a little painting. So anyhow, thanks for stopping by. And if you could go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel and leave some comments. Stay tuned. All right, so here we go. Today, as you can see, um, mine used to be red, but my bag that I carry is camo, digital camo, so I decided to paint my cart a long time ago, uh, light tan camo spray. And as you can see, I have my course maintenance tool that stays in the back of my cart, but today I added a second one and a half inch piece of PVC. I use these, um, one of them for my GoPro stays in there when I'm filming, and that way it stays straight and upright and doesn't get hit on anything and also i keep it uh, for a i have a retrieval tool that goes in here 16 foot long retrieval tool so you'll uh, see that when i put it all back together but uh this is the dynamic disc or the zuka cart it's made for the large backpack and i uh, wish it was about a two inches sh shorter because i am a short person but there we go I'll get it all back together here shortly with my bag in it. You can see what it looks like. Got some more painting to do on it. Another coat or so to put on there. And then uh, we'll come back when it's all assembled and um, go over a few things with it. So stay tuned. All right, welcome back. So through the magic of YouTube, we have it all back put together. Let's have my bag back in the cart and it is completely painted. And as you can kind of tell, it does kind of closely match the camo color of my bag. I do have a Latitude 64 E3 bag. This is the Zuka cart that's made for dynamic disc. You can see there, it is the large backpack cart. It fits perfectly with the Latitude 64 E3 or the E4 bag, as they're basically the same size. <clears throat> I do have a seat cover on it, which I do highly suggest if uh, you're going to be playing. It makes it a little bit more comfortable to sit on. So kind of do a walk around. Mine does have the all-terrain wheels, the soft all-terrain wheels. Makes it pretty nice. I did add a water bottle holder. I am not impressed at all. Zuka, if you are listening, this is probably one of the worst designs ever been created. It's about good for holding a... 16.9 ounce bottle of water if you're not careful it's pretty flimsy i have dropped them several times so just be prepared and know that i use the water bottle holder here in my bag and i use a 24 ounce water bottle I have a paracord tied to it so i can strap it to my cart and it doesn't fall out so looking at the back i did add a dynamic disc putter pouch do highly suggest those um, they are very nice for holding your disc and i will show you i don't keep them in here because i keep this in the back of my truck but as you can see the putter pouch will comfortably hold two putters it would probably hold maybe three mid ranges i do from time to time stick a another putter in here or a mid range so as you can see fits perfectly there I keep this pouch up here I keep uh, my phone when I'm playing so I can quickly access it small pouch up front keeps a couple of minis does have some spots here for pins or that's about it I'm not really gonna put much in here this could have been made in my opinion a little bit bigger or had at least another one of these pouches to make this a little bit bigger it's not really a good design 
if you put it any higher on the pole it just flops back and forth so i had to actually secure it down below on this but this here i added these of course don't come from zuka but i needed them so these are an inch and a half pvc and i've got um, hose clamps holding them on here this one holds my disc retriever because it's too big to fit inside my bag and close the seat and this post here i made so i can um, my gopro here is on a, a selfie stick and i can sit it in there when i'm playing and kind of record myself and this is kind of the walk around sorry my bag's pretty dirty it rained this week and just haven't had time to clean anything so anyway that is the zuka cart looking back up at the handle real quick like uh, this handle is solid aluminum or not solid it's uh, a pipe aluminum and so i actually went and bought uh, grips for a tennis racket i have two layers of that there makes it really soft and easy to hold on to i would suggest something like that i've seen people that's used a bicycle handlebar grip kind of heated it up and slid it over because it's not a perfectly round it's kind of a kind of an oval shape kind of strange handle so I've seen that on there and I do know that flight towel makes grips that you can use for putting on there so my quick overview of this Zuka cart like I said at the beginning um, I started playing a year ago saw a bunch of guys out at Tom Brown and girls using carts and I was like man that's just silly somebody comes from a golfing background I either rode in a cart or I carried my bag, never really used a golf cart to carry it. So I was kind of just like, man, that's something I would never need, never really wanted. And as I played more, as you can see, I have a bag of discs in here. I'm carrying probably about 17 to 18 discs. Probably most of them aren't needed, but I have them anyway. And after a day in the Florida sun at 100 plus degree heat, it's pretty hot. So, uh, found myself just being worn out carrying my backpack I sweat a lot so everywhere this bag touched I was drenched so I decided to buy a cart got it from a guy in South Florida used and uh, probably one of the best purchases so far I've made for disc golf um, if you are gonna play a lot do a lot of walking play in tournaments I cannot suggest this more to you as it is a back saver and a lifesaver i would definitely definitely um, suggest getting a zuka cart uh, this is a it's very well made um, <clears throat> it was red like i said i did paint it um, would have been nice if it <laughs> was easier to paint but uh I, I mean i just can't suggest this more to someone if you're new um, whether you're young or old it just makes it a lot easier to play and enjoy the round especially tournaments because if you've ever been in a tournament um, there's nothing in a tournament that's in a hurry other than when you're ready to go home so it gives you a place to sit down there's not a lot of places on some disc golf courses to sit so you do have a sitting area here you can carry more water more snacks uh, they do have bags that zuka makes that i'll probably end up buying that kind of go over the side here that i can put other things in but <clears throat> anyhow that's my two cents on the Zuka backpack cart. Um, if you are on the fence about it, I would highly suggest it. Um, they're expensive when you can find them. They're upwards of $200 or so to get one new. Um, but I believe if you're going to be playing a lot of disc golf, that it is a much needed piece of equipment. So anyhow, um, thanks for stopping by today and uh, if you could please just go down there subscribe to the channel I'm trying to build my subscribers right at about 117 i think 118 as this video will be made uh would like to get up a lot higher and uh need some feedback drop comments let me know if you'd like to see anything different i'll probably go over um in the next couple of days what i'm carrying in my bag right now disc wise i've kind of changed a bunch of stuff since the last one i did last year so i'll sit down and do another one of those videos so Anyhow, as always, uh, thanks for tuning in, and as always, uh, keep your eye pointed towards Jesus. He'll lead you in the right direction.
and thanks for joining in. Have a great day.